Only conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Philippians 1, verse 27. The concern here is not simply with our talk and conversations with one another, but the whole course of our life and behavior in the world. The Greek word translated manner signifies the actions and the privileges of citizenship, and thus we are commanded to let our actions as citizens of the New Jerusalem be worthy of the gospel of Christ. What manner of life is this? In the first place, the gospel is very simple. So Christians should be simple and plain in their habits. There should be about our manner, our speech, our dress, our whole behavior, that simplicity which is the very soul of beauty. The gospel is preeminently true. It is gold without dross, and the Christian's life will be lusterless and valueless without the jewel of truth. The gospel is a very fearless gospel. It boldly proclaims the truth. Whether men like it or not, we must be equally faithful and unflinching. But the gospel is also very gentle. Mark this spirit in its founder, a bruised reed he will not break. Some professors of faith are sharper than a thorn hedge. Such men are not like Jesus. Let us seek to win others by the gentleness of our words and acts. The gospel is very loving. It is the message of the God of love to a lost and fallen race. Christ's last command to his disciples was love one another. Oh, for more real, hearty union and love to all the saints, for more tender compassion towards the souls of the worst and vilest of men. We must not forget that the gospel of Christ is holy. It never excuses sin. It pardons it, but only through an atonement. If our life is to resemble the gospel, we must shun not merely the grosser vices, but everything that would hinder our perfect conformity to Christ. For his sake, for our sakes, and for the sakes of others, we must strive day by day to let the manner of our life be more in accordance with his gospel. Only conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Philippians 1, verse 27.